Hey guys, welcome to episode number 51. Today is Friday, so it's Fan Friday. And I had an interesting request um, from a fan who was asking about dome filters. And I guess this is um, an invention that's popular overseas um, in Taiwan and Japan, I believe. And I'll get to it in a minute, uh, but before I do, I just want to talk about two other types of filters that are very similar. Um, these have been out for a long time. It's, you know, tried and true. It's what, what a lot of people use in small aquariums, especially if they're just starting in the hobby. So the first one is a corner filter. Uh, some people call it a bubble filter. And what it does is it sits in the corner of your tank, you attach an airline hose to it, and your pump pumps air um, down this hose and up um, a central channel. And what that does is it, it forces water to be drawn through the top, through this large chamber that you can fill with whatever you want, activated carbon, you know, filter floss, uh, you know, whatever whatever you you want to use and then uh, the water comes through the bottom which has an open open chamber which allows uh, the water to then come up through the tube and then out the top what that allows you to do is um, you know aerate the water while also filtering the water and you, you don't require any expensive canister filters or hang on back filters or anything like that uh, it's just a, a nice little corner filter, and when they get clogged up, you can just uh, swap them out whenever you want. So the, the two main elements that are used in this filter are the activated carbon and then the filter floss. The carbon is usually towards the bottom to kind of weight the thing down, and then the filter floss can just be switched out whenever you need to. So the other one is a sponge filter, and these are incredibly simple. Um, I actually have one over here that I built a while back and how it works is almost exactly the same as the as the corner filter but it's even simpler this is a, an auto sponge uh, they're peanut shaped sponges I just cut this one in half drill the hole in the center of it and then I took um, a three quarter inch PVC pipe drill the hole on the side got my airline hose and I've got a an air stone in there and then I've got some holes there uh, and then you just insert that into the middle and you can drop that in your tank and uh, essentially what it's doing is the same thing as here you're drawing in water through the sponge through all sides of the sponge uh, through the top through the sides th through the bottom and then the, the air is, is coming out from the top. So those those are fairly well known. You know, I'm sure everyone who's watching this video has seen these two filters. And you know what I saw from this dome filter concept um, that seems to be fairly popular with, with fish and uh, also with turtles, I guess, uh, in, in Japan, is that it basically is a sponge filter inside of a corner filter and what I mean by that is it has a plastic exterior it's kind of dome shaped it, it kind of looks like a tent and it has openings in the top just like the corner filter does which allows the water to come through and um, the majority of this is filled with uh, either stones or uh, again your, your carbon um, to, to weight the thing down but then the interior is nothing more than a sponge so again it's a sponge filter um, and it acts the same way you've got the airline hose in it um, ejects the air through through the uplift tube and out the top so you've got your bubbles being created and um, you've got water coming in through the top and through the bottom leaving the top and essentially all you have is a sponge filter inside of a corner filter so it's it's nothing new um, you know to me it, it actually doesn't make a whole lot of sense it actually looks like a lot more work than it's worth uh, because in order to, to maintain this uh, what you'd have to do is you'd have to 
pop the, the plastic casing off, um, and then you'd have to take the sponge out, you have to rinse the sponge, you'd have to dump um, you know, the, the used carbon um, from the inside of the, the plastic base unit, and then um, you know, fill, fill it back up, put it back together, put it back in the tank. It, it seems like a lot more work than it's worth um, when you could do, you know, a sponge filter as large as you need, um, which would do exactly the same job as the sponge inside of the dome filter. Or you could go for a corner filter and put as much, you know, filter floss or carbon in it as you want, and it would again do the same thing as a dome filter. I get, I get, it's it's kind of neat that it's all in one, but um, in terms of its effectiveness, I don't think it's any better than these other two options. It's definitely uh, probably more expensive, uh, and, and it's an expense that isn't really necessary in my mind. So. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's going to filter any better than these other two options, and I think it's going to be more expensive in the long run. So even though it seems like it's it's the craze in Japan right now, at least that's what I've heard, um, I, I don't think it's it's going to make it to the United States, and I don't, I don't think it's really going to make it long term in the hobby because it is just, you know... Um, a reinvention of the same thing without without any value added to it so although it, it looks kind of neat um, and it, it probably isn't possible to tip over in an aquarium uh, I don't think it adds any value over what's already available uh, what's already readily um, available to, to make yourself or to buy yourself so um, the dome filter, I'm, I'm going to have to give that like a, a D. I don't, I don't think anyone is really going to, to, to use that in the long run. So, um, you know, it was interesting learning about it because I'd never heard of it before. So, uh, if you guys want, I'll, I'll post in the, in the comments, um, the, uh, the, the Japanese or the, or the Taiwan, uh, Taiwanese or whatever whatever uh, language it is um, that you can Google to, to find these images but uh, I, I, I personally am not going to use these dome filters uh, and I wouldn't recommend them uh, based on what I've seen I could be proved wrong but um, you know to me it's nothing new it just looks new so that's all I've got all right guys see you later